Mr. Beast is a guy I'm sure every single person watching this video has at least heard of. Now boasting over 104 million subscribers at the time of recording, an astonishing 17 billion total channel views, and holding the second place world record for the most views on a video in 24 hours, all on his main channel alone, Jimmy Donaldson has clearly become one of the biggest people to ever come out of YouTube, and he's clearly only going to keep getting bigger from here, most likely passing his idol PewDiePie before the end of the year and maybe even T-Series one day. But I'm here with a very important question for the man himself. Mr. Beast, you hit 100 million subscribers, but now what? Yeah, as I said, he's going to keep growing, but what's really the point now? He's already surpassed the ultimate goal for anyone on YouTube, and there's really no greater goals than that. Sure, he'll most likely hit 200 mil in a few years if he keeps on it, but where does it end? And will he even still have the same passion or popularity at that point? I think that after achieving this incredible milestone, Mr. Beast has started a countdown in his career, and is a countdown doomed to failure. So pull up a seat and enjoy the Mr. Beast documentary, going through his past, present, and finally, his future. Now, just before we get into this video, I want to address something. If you want to avoid this bit and go straight to the video, then here's the time on screen, as well as in the description. Okay, hello to those of you who either stuck around or were too lazy to flick forward. Now, this is probably the biggest guy and hottest topic I will ever cover on this channel, and that's for good reason. I intended to make content on this channel that nobody else had made, and that's why I've settled on this format. So, I'll usually cover interesting Fortnite documentaries or theories, as well as picking YouTubers that haven't got much or any coverage for my greatest on YouTube series. I don't need to cover big guys, because other better people are already doing that. So, don't be surprised if you never see me cover something like this again, but this is just a video that I've wanted to make since Mr. Beast crossed the 100mm mark, so, um, yeah. With, with all that said, let's return to the video. Past. Now, Jimmy's past has already been covered by bigger and better creators than me, so I won't talk about it long. One day, 14-year-old Jimmy Donaldson created his first YouTube channel sometime in 2012. From there, he would make first gaming videos before talking about YouTubers. Seem familiar? From there, he would get more ambitious in his lust for growth. So, he did a few weird, almost masochistic challenges, like chopping a table in half with a plastic knife, or watching Dance Till You're Dead for 10 hours, or just casually counting to 100,000. Make sure you like the video, drop a comment, 99,999, 100,000. These insane random challenges would gain him several thousand subscribers and viewers as they enjoyed the shock factor of a young man spending an hour and a half of his life reading out the entire B-movie script. He would harness this shock factor even more when he got $10,000 off a sponsor and gave it to a random homeless man. This sparked something big on his channel, and giving out large quantities of money is still one of the biggest things he does today. From there, he camped out in a desert, bought an island, planted 20,000 trees, made a YouTube Rewind, created a burger chain, rebuilt Squid Game, hit 100 million subscribers, and that leads us up to now. Present. So it's been about a month since Mr. Beast hit the 100 million milestone, and he has naturally seen lots of success since then, with every single video uploaded getting a million views in a few minutes. And I would say things are only going to get better from here, for now at least. He's definitely one of the greatest creators to ever come out of the platform. No one else seems to know YouTube like he does, and that one podcast he did talking about everything he does to make his videos perfect is seen as the textbook for anyone trying to make a YouTube channel now. He knows exactly what he needs to do in terms of editing, release, and content. For example, when Squid Game ended up being the massive success that it was, he instantly jumped on the bandwagon, spending almost $4 million to recreate the show in a level of quality that is unheard of for a YouTube video. It's no surprise why it was the first video to break the 200 million view mark. 
Probably when the next big smash hit thing comes out, Jimmy will remake that and get even more views, possibly even taking his record back from Will Smith. At present, everything looks amazing for our favourite shouty man with a beard. But how much longer can he keep that up? Let's have a look at another creator who at 100 million subscribers. And his channel is suffering greatly as a result. PewDiePie. PewDiePie has been Mr. Beast's idol from day one, with multiple videos on Jimmy's channel promoting him, especially when the PewDiePie vs T-Series war was in full swing. And a result of this war was getting Pewds the massive boost in subscribers that eventually forced him over the 100 million subscriber mark on the 25th of August 2019. Since then, PewDiePie has brought back Minecraft. No way, he did that just before 100 mil. But he has gone on to get married. No, once again, he did that just before. Well, what has he done then? Well, tiny voice that lives in my head, he has become bored and moved to Japan. Now, he seems to be enjoying himself in Japan. I mean, it's Japan. It's one of the greatest countries on Earth. He has frequently shown a love for the country. Why wouldn't he be having fun there? However, he has seemingly become tired of YouTube. At least, that's what it all looked like a few months ago. A couple months ago, I already considered myself retiring. I know I meme like subbing and all that, but I'm not playing the YouTube. Sunny V2 anymore. covers it in more detail in this video on the matter, so go check that out, link in the description. But basically, it covers why Pewds has lost all drive for making videos on YouTube after becoming one of the biggest in the world. His growth has ground to a slow grind of only a few thousand new subscribers a month instead of the hundreds of thousands of new subscribers he was getting around three years ago. Most of his videos don't do very well either, with each upload only getting about a million views. Now, that may sound like a lot, but it's pretty much exactly the same as Penguin Zero, aka Most Critical, who has 10 times less subscribers than views, or Mr. Beast, who gets millions of views in only a couple of hours. And I think that's down to Pewds being old news after he hit his 100 million goal. When he hit that mark, his sub count slowly grinded to the halt we find it at now, leaving Pewds at the top spot with not much to show for it other than a number. He even gave away his play button. It's possible that PewDiePie may make another enormous spurt of growth and overtake T-Series in the end, but is that likely? Felix is 32 years old at this point. He's been making content on the platform for over a decade. He's got a wife that loves him, a nice life in Japan, more money than he probably knows what to do with, and it's very likely that at some point he will upload one last video and never come back. Instead, stepping away from his channel that made him a king and living a normal man's life, looking out on a bright sunset Fulfilled and happy. Hang on. What was this video about again? Oh yeah, Mr. Beast. Future. So, what lies in the future for Mr. Jimmy Beast? Well, if Pewds is anything to go by, he will continue to grow from here. It's clear that, unlike Pewds, his growth isn't slowing down at the moment. I would say he's just about hit the peak of the platform at this point, with his relevancy being through the roof. But over time, very slowly, but inevitably for anyone on this platform, Mr. Beast will start to lose relevancy, start to grow up, start to lose the passion for his YouTube channel that he's had since he was 14 years old, and start to follow the path of his idol, PewDiePie. However, I don't think Mr. Beast is the sort of guy to stop uploading altogether. He understands the platform way too well, and has too much passion for that. Instead, I think his main channel will fizzle out of growth at around the 130 million subscribers and his philanthropy channel will start to grow, with Jimmy devoting more time to helping more people in a practical sense than just giving out loads of money to the next Squid Game winner. Mr. B said a while ago that his only goal in life is to have given away everything he owns by the end of it, trying to make everyone as happy as possible. And unlike a YouTube channel that typically only has a lifespan of 5 to 12 years, a charity, or in this case, philanthropy channel, will last much, much longer. I think that even after Mr. Beast waves goodbye to YouTube forever, as all of us will someday, 
his philanthropic acts will live on, helping millions as he has, and his name will live on, long past he will, through the many millions of lives he's made better, in either big ways or small. The name and the idea of Mr. Jimmy Beast will be immortalized by the incredible acts he's done over his life so far and beyond. So this isn't a video about how his channel ends. No, this is a video about a beginning. The beginning of a legacy that will span generations. A legacy of happiness, of entertainment. A legacy of a man who has changed the world forever. A legacy of the legend, Mr. Beast. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and bell and everything. Um, yeah. Um, I hope I said everything I wanted to say. Um, and in the unlikely but possible event that Mr. Beast ever sees this video, then this message is specifically for him. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I love your content. I love everything that you do with your videos. They're all amazing. And know that I make this video not at all wishing for your channel to die. Not at all. This is just, this is just a, a video that I feel like I had to make because it's an opinion that I've had in my head for a while now. And I think it, I, I have, I think it needs to be said. That, that's why I created this channel. I, I made it so I can say the things that no one else is saying. And I sincerely hope that what I say here won't happen and that you will continue to go forever, but I, th I think we we both know that's not how YouTube works. Um, YouTube is a YouTube is a platform of temporary. There, there is no permanent celebrity status here. There's giants of the platform that have fallen out of the spotlight and that's just that's the sacrifice everyone who uploads on this platform has they'll either be controversy or or personal burnout or just there's something in their life or or they'll just they'll just their audience will just grow up it's impossible for a lone person to keep on this this platform and I know Mr. Beast is like a brand and a company now, but it, it's nothing without Jimmy at the heart of it. And I, I think one day he, he will move on. He will stop, um, but he, he won't ever move on from helping people. He, he clearly loves doing that. So I think he'll definitely work to make the world a much better place even after his his main YouTube channel's gone. And uh, who knows, he, he might like become some major government figure in the future who'll go on to help millions of people worldwide. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm here to speak my mind about what I think will happen. And I pray that it won't. But hey, that's the video. And yeah, you got to this point, so as I said before, like the video, it helps. I like it when that happens. Um, if this video like gets big because it's got the Mr. Beast name attached to it, uh, check out these other videos on screen. They're pretty good. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Chimichanga!